22? 22! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Host Away. Away with Mark and Sam. That and was dumb. On my end. What did you say? <laughs> Just the way I said I didn't pay it. Attention at all. I'm like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That reminds me of um, the new Netflix documentary Cheer. Yeah. Is all the rave right now. Yeah. Are you gonna watch it? No. no. <laughs> you guys. I lived Cheer. I don't want this to be public knowledge at all. So don't tell anybody. <laughs> but I, I was a Michigan State cheerleader. Which is cool. Everyone it's who It's cool is, if... No, okay, whatever. If, I think it's cool. If you think it's cool or not. Like, I lived that life. Everything you see in there, like, there's... I don't know if it's as dramatic <coughs> as they... Because I haven't seen the actual cheer, but I I've seen it's the... dramatic. Right. I've seen the preview of it. It is very physical. That's the fun part. I like that. Um, and I wouldn't say it's cutthroat in the slightest. But, um, or at least it wasn't where I was at. It's very competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I don't need to watch it again. Because it, like, gives you anxiety? Or no, you're just over it. I'm over it. That's probably the best thing, is that uh, it's not really a priority in my life, nor do I want it to be. It's what, why I don't watch the news, is because it's a little bit depressing. There are some aspects of oh, cheering that is, that is depressing, and I think that TV show probably just highlights everything. That's negative about it rather than the best part there's a lot of camaraderie in cheer yeah. um it's co-ed which is great because it adds the dynamics of the genders which is different than a lot of sports um so that was really interesting and fun but i might I, try it just because really i don't know everyone is like obsessed with it like binged the crap out of it okay uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The, the Host, Host Away. Away. This is with Mark and Sam, and here's what we have to tell you today. Reminders. Four days from now is February 10th. And what's happening February 10th, Mark? Everyone has to have their state conference registration submitted, or else you don't go at all. Bye! <laughs> Just kidding. So registration, SLC registration deadline is February 10th. So please have all of your registration in. No refunds will be provided after that date. But if you have any ads, um, subtracts, <laughs> subtracts or deletions, Delete. <laughs> cancellations, email me any changes. Um, but again, once. February 10th is over, no refunds. We allow substitutions, but no refunds. Okay, you can print an invoice out right there through the website. Yes. However, if they need one, you're gonna send them one. Well, I will send out invoices after the deadline. Can you please have your payment uh, for the conference to us by February 15th? Any payment questions, please email me. You can pay online still. Most of you guys know that by now, but just in case. <laughs> you okay? So I was, I was like, and, and attention! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget there's the McAllisters. If you want your food to go right on the bus with you when you jump on the bus and go home. On Tuesday? On Tuesday, we have the McAllisters option for you. Please sign up. The form is um, attached to the Synapse and also uh, online. You, online. And apparently in the pre-registration packet now. If you need to download Well, it's on the... State info. State info page yes. on the website. Yes, yes. it's it, on there. So it's kind of a no-brainer, guys. It saves you an extra stop on your way home, especially if you have a long drive home. Uh, gets kids their food. It's and affordable. It's ahead of time. So and it's good. All right. What else? Okay. More hotel information. Okay. The saga continues. Okay. The, all hotel information that we have all are available online. As soon as I know that there is another av available hotel, I put it online. Offsite, yeah. Offsite hotel. Um, if 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 there any of them are full, please contact me. I'll try to. Well, a you can try to find yourself uh, a hotel and let me know, or um, actually check with me first to see if we can get transportation there. Yeah. yeah. Um, otherwise. Yes, we'll try to find a spot for you. Any professional development? I 
You know, we haven't done the suit um, unbutton one. Professional development tip number three. Okay, so you know how the when you go out to a meal, right, the fork is always on the left and then the, uh, the knife and the spoon are on the right. Sure. Right? Okay. Do you know why that is? No. No. And neither do I. I'm not sure who made up that rule. Okay, maybe somebody, you can put your comment below if you, you, had, you know why that is. Um, whoever made up that rule most likely is the same person that made up the reason why when men wear a sports jacket. Yes. And they have multiple buttons on a, on a male's jacket. Typically three? Well, typically two, oh, okay. actually. Sometimes okay. it's three if it's a really fancy one. Most of the time, men's sports jackets have, or suit jackets, have two buttons. Okay. You only button the top button, never the bottom button. Why that is, I don't know. It's an etiquette thing. Somebody made it up, but yeah, never the bottom button. And that's all the time. All the time. <laughs> um, yes. So what do they do when they sit down? Well, yeah, you, when you sit down, you can... You unbutton too. Technically, I just don't know if they know that. Oh, yeah. If this you is your sit, first time wearing a suit, this is suit etiquette, folks. When you sit down, you can unbutton it. Women, we do not have the same rule. If you have no. your suit buttoned, you can have all buttons buttoned. You can also undo it, but... Do you guys have one button or two buttons? Do you know? It really depends on the style. Oh. Some, I have one that doesn't have any buttons. Okay. And then we're a little bit more complicated. I imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> so surprising. Um, yes, that's a quick tip for you. We didn't want to leave you without a little professional development tip. We see a lot of students walking around with jackets, obviously, at, those at our HOSA conferences. And we wanted you to know it's only the top button. So... That's it. Next week, Mark here will be doing episode 23 on his own. I will be out of town, so be good to him, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes, or if you get one at all. We'll see. Yeah, you may or may not have one next week. Let's just go there. Great. And that's the, the host away. away. Super Bowl. Ah. Uh, okay. This is what I can say about this. Go sports! <laughs> <laughs> How'd the game go? Well, I think we sported more than they sported. Did you ever see that clip? Gosh, no. so fun. But the Chiefs won, right? They did. Yeah. Is that like an upset or were they supposed to win? Do we know? This is the best part of the Super Bowl. Is that Demi Lovato killed the national anthem. Not like in a good way. Like, it was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. You in a good way. In a good way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did great. But here's the best part about that is that Demi Lovato, 10 years ago, yes, I love this. text that she is going to sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl one day. Dot, dot, dot. One day. Yeah. And That's she so did. Cool. And she's had a lot of ups and downs yeah. in her career trials and tribulations and look at her go. I know. I was really I was really impressed and I thought that was cool. It's motivational. You know what's coincidental about the um, Camp Rock or Camp Rock <laughs> <laughs> The coincidental about Demi Lovato is that my kids just watched Camp Rock one and two yeah. the last week. And so. she's in it? She, yeah, it's her and Jonas Brothers. Oh. Yeah. Nick Jonas is the new judge on The Voice. I don't watch it, but Which I one's remember. Nick? Is he the pretty boy he's or the, the cute boy? He's the one that you think is yes, he's the cute. cutest. I do think he's the cutest. I think Joe is the cutest. Too pretty. He's a pretty boy. I like pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, to each his own. <laughs>